Hi gang, I just wanted to, uh, you know, sh show some of you folks, uh, you know, uh, some shots from my yard. It's uh, May 19th, 2017. Um, I I'm doing this because apparently there's some loser boys that, you know, think I'm, you know, uh, you know, got it real hard or, you know, I'm just, you know, stupid and, you know, of course, you know, stupid people. Uh, you know, they just live in, you know, apartments and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't got nothing except, you know, just stupid chickens. But uh, this is the view out through my pergola. And there's my, uh, there's my pond out there. I mean, I'm constantly got deer in there knocking the rocks down. But uh, that's where the frog sits. And, you know, he keeps us busy. And, and those things are blooming out there. And they're actually, you know, pretty nice. Uh, they're pretty. You know, you got some cleanup to do here. And... You know, it's a lot of work sometimes, but, you know, it's pretty fun. Uh, this is my uh, fig tree, um, you know, and, man, it's just loaded with figs this year. Uh, I mean, last year, I mean, I ate so many of them. I <laughs> you can eat them all day and still not get all of them. Um, days and days of it. I mean, the grandkids really love to come and eat them, but they're real sweet when they're, when they're ripe. Uh, they're not real big, but they don't really need to be. They're just good. Uh, you know, a little front peach tree. I mean, finally the deer stopped eating it enough to where he would he would grow. He's got a he's got a few peaches on it, but uh, I mean he's he's doing all right now. I mean, he, you know, he's not tiny by any means, but you know he's he's getting bigger. Um, and over here is, yeah. See, this is a uh, this is well that one tree there. That 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 would that would actually make a pretty good spot to hang a bunch of sorcerers you know witches and necromancers there you know you know if they weren't coward enough to you know you know stay away you know so that's a that's a view out to the front there you know most of those cactus are edible um so you know it's just uh it's just food stores you know they, they they just lay around the yard here uh this is my uh this is my pear tree um we just got him started and uh you know it's doing okay i can't can't wait to give those a go those look pretty good all right here's the pomegranate tree it doesn't have as many pomegranates this year but it's still blooming it still could come out uh with a few more here's the other one uh, they're, they're they're putting on pomegranates so uh, these are actually pretty good they're not bad um you know, so yeah, it's it's got a few of the on there. tomatillos. Uh, we got a whole bunch of them out around the corner there. Uh, we got a whole bucket full of tomatillos today, and uh, you know, so they're they're really coming on. Got some tarragon down there, and and these babies, these babies are coming on, man. I got I got tons of blackberries now. It looks like we're gonna have to do something to keep the birds off of it. Uh, but man, these suckers are good. So, and they're just about ripe. There's a few of them on there that are already starting to turn black. We ate some yesterday. They they tasted great. Well, the jalapeno plants, um, you know, and they got a couple of jalapenos on there. You know, it's just full of jalapenos. Plenty, you know. I like that. I love that. You know, and then, you know, Ileana, she's got tomatoes all over the place. I mean, there you go. You know, I mean, there's nothing better than a tomato right off the vine, you know, and these, these are hothouse, these hothouse tomatoes and, you know, hey, they, they look pretty good. Each tree, uh, it, he's quite a bit bigger than the one up front. There's one over there on the side, uh, of the front porch too. And it's got, it's got some peaches on it. This one is just covered with peaches this year. So, uh, it's doing really good. We pruned him back and that really, uh, forced him to concentrate, uh, you know, on, uh, on the other side, but, uh, got some t cherry tomatoes down here. She's, she's got all kinds of colors, different colors there. There's some red ones there and these things, man, they're just like candy, you know, we got some banana trees here and then our, you know, monstrous sunflowers. We, we do that for the birds. They, they like to eat that stuff. So, uh, so we, we, we let them, there, there's some, some yellow and black birds that come through here, but, uh, I got a whole bunch of these now, man. I can't wait for those suckers to get going, but, uh, yeah, it gets pretty dense in there. I mean, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. So there's some more tomatillos and, uh, you know, there, some of them, I guess Ileon had to go around cause they're starting to fall off. There's getting, they're getting to be ripe and stuff. There's a, an asparagus, there's one of the uh, asparagus stands. So we let them grow out here cause we like to get them, you know, concentrated so they become bigger later. So, you know, eh, you know, we'll be able to harvest those, uh, probably next year they'll be ready. So you got to give them a few years before they 
uh, they're ready for that. The 600 square foot indoor growing space, it's got an irrigation system on it, uh, it waters itself. We still got just, uh, it was still putting out lots of, uh, lots of uh, uh, strawberries and stuff. And you know, we got citrus in the center. Um, you know, it was a little bit tough, tricky to get the bees in here this year. So, you know, we got some oranges, we got a you know, we got a few lemons and stuff over here, so, you know, that works okay. You know, we got the larger bananas back here, and we got these dragon eye fruits, and they seem to be doing really good. Uh, we've got some uh, hydroponics back in here um, with some, uh, we got some ginger, and take you, take you back in here. Here is, uh, here's a little, here's a little, uh, uh, a bell siphon set up so ileon has got a few things in here they're a little peaked but you know it's getting pretty hot in here too so um and here's some more tomatoes you know we got plenty of tomatoes got uh, extra blackberries more uh, pomegranate trees growing we'll probably be able to sell those some ferns we've got uh we've got uh some uh, uh turmeric growing and some ginger you know, and we still haven't put the geraniums out, <laughs> but you know, hey, they'll, they'll go on the porch and they look kind of nice. Sweet potatoes growing everywhere, so <laughs> you know, I'll just have to get around and dig them up, I suppose. And then, hey, this is the one I like. This is a volunteer Tabasco. Uh, that one, man, he, I mean, he makes some great peppers when they get ripe, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, that's that right there. That now nah, he is an angry Peppers. pepper bush. Uh, they're they're doing pretty good. Some more tomatillos and stuff, and uh, you know, there's some more outside bananas. Got some rhubarb over here. There's some more more tomatoes. You know, I, I'd like to take a bunch of those and make uh, make ketchup out of them. That would be good. Yeah, here's I've got my little new solar solar station here i'm developing so i'll put that to implement when i when i need it uh you probably uh some more bird bass maybe something for chickens i don't know uh and of course more tomatoes got some potatoes back here uh we learned how to grow those in a five gallon bucket that's about all you need you know if you just do it right you know you can get get quite a few uh, tomatoes here's a few more peppers I, you know we we do that we i just love peppers got some cucumbers over here they're just about to start put cucumbers on i think oh there's one right there he's already starting so we'll be able be able to pickle those when they get going yeah back here it's a little wilder i mean we got some we got some more uh cucumbers and stuff uh growing there they're coming on more tomatoes of course you know there's some potatoes back here and we have some peas growing. You know, peas are a little tougher um, out here, but uh, eh, you know, we'll see. You know, she's going to string them up here. We'll see if they uh, they come on. It, uh, they don't do very well in the heat, but it don't matter. Got a few potatoes there, and of course, eh, more cucumbers. Um, and shoot, those those are all jalapenos. You know, these are the new. Uh, uh, things uh, uh the new planters that i made so yeah we'll, we'll we'll have quite a few of those so just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we got here in the backyard it's, it's actually pretty interesting i always thought this was kind of interesting i had this wire that i twisted up and uh and the honeysuckle actually followed the twist of the wire and uh, I, I just thought that was kind of cool that it would just you know mimic that but you know hey that's a that's a natural function you know a spiral helix you know it has power so you know apparently you know you know the honeysuckle wants to do that too so that's the that's the old chicken house i you know i made that with just just pallets i mean you know it's getting a little old now but um uh, but that was just just pallets i mean you know just laying around you know why throw the stuff away when you can actually do good stuff with it you know all right and this this chickens you know and there's there's fowler he, he runs the place uh and they're just uh they're just hanging out that's fluffy uh she's the low chicken on the totem pole so we have to give her special stuff because everybody else like picks on her so yeah you guys punks losers yeah look at you yeah yeah i know i know you're larva lovers just loving larva yeah you want some larvas hmm? Yeah, 
maybe later. <laughs> so, but that's, uh, you know, that's part of it. You know, that's part of it. You know, it's just, uh, you know, watching the stuff grow and, you know, watching, uh, you know, all the stuff, you know, get going, you know. Uh, there's my uh, my rainwater gathering system. Man, it'd be nice to have, you know, five or six more of those. Uh, at least maybe the two 2,000 gallon ones. Because we produce enough rain here to where we really don't need to be connected to the water system. You know, if we had like 20,000 gallons, I mean, we could just totally disconnect from the water. Um, and that would work, you know. Less uh, less hassle. It's a lot of bad water, a lot better water. Soap works better, you know, with rainwater anyway. So, but that's it. And that's sort of a view out through the front. And there's there's one of my Flintstone gates. You know, yeah, it's fancy, man. Opulent. You know, it's also functional, um, and you know, doesn't require you know any additional resources. Just the resources that I get out here in the yard. So, you know, I, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to, you know, show folks, uh, you know, how, how down and depri de deprived and, and, and how, how lame and, you know, how lame and uh, uh, miserable my existence is, you know, so, you know, that's, uh, I, I know you really feel for me, you know, so, you know, especially those guys out there that seem to be trolling me, you know, who live in an apartment eating Hot Pockets. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, and hey, you know, if you go and you, 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 you go and you program yourself, you, you could, you could sit in a dark apartment playing video games and Hot Pockets and eating Hot Pockets too. I mean, you know, that's all you want to do, you know. These are the canna lilies. They, they always do pretty well. Um, I think they're actually kind of, kind of cool, but, uh, uh, you know, and they, you know, it's nice, it's pretty, I mean, you know, we've got all kinds of, kinds of interesting cactus there. Those suckers, man, uh, that's sugar right there, that old thing's sugar. You know, we got a ton of those, we got some big ones up front, but man, they're just prolific here you know you got a uh, pecan tree i don't want him going but you know, i think Ilion wants me to take him out but you know this is just the decorations here a lot of this stuff we can't eat but you know some of them a lot of them are uh, like herb plants that actually are beneficial to a lot of the uh, a lot of the insects around here you know the bees you know bee balm and and stuff like that uh salvia you know those are the kinds of things the bees like you know and, and this over here it looks like a weed patch but man i ate so many berries out of that i mean these are the natural ones that just grow all uh, by themselves i mean me i had some kids out here we were all, we, you know we were just covered in, in purple eating these berries but i really like those because they're not real sweet they, they they're really tart but you know hey I, you know just let this go i just don't hit it with the lawnmower and you know it, it was just, I mean, that whole thing was just nothing but berries. I mean, hundreds of them. That was more than we could eat, uh, you know. So, uh, but then, you know, now the blackberries are coming on. I mean, we got like nine quarts of blackberries last year. Uh, we got in the freezer right now, you know. So, you know, it's just, uh, just little stuff, you know. But, you know, we got oak trees, you know. I, I think sometime I'm going to, uh, you know, try taking those uh, acorns and roast them and uh you know see what see what for flour we can we can produce out of that and uh you know generate you know additional uh additional food you know and there's that part where the you know we got this deer living in the yard i, I think she was born in the back year uh backyard a few years ago but she tends to hang around she's um i don't know where she's at now she might be back there by the by the uh, rain uh by the rain tank but uh but yeah, I mean, that is permanent water, right? So there's frogs and, you know, all the birds come in here and uh, all the uh, wildlife knows that that always has water in it. So they uh, tend to come over here and, you know, uh, utilize it. I just wish it'd be better, better guess, but you know, hey, you know, they're, they're animals by the way, you know, and you can't really, can't really help that. All right. So, all right, well, I just thought I'd show you some of this stuff and, you know, just give you an idea that, hey, you know, uh, you know things are not what they seem. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll talk to you in a little while. Bye-bye.